If this is the first video you are watching from my channel, let me introduce myself first. My name is Jack. I usually make videos regarding personal finance and some social issues that matters to me. And in this video, I'll be talking about toxic Filipino cultures. And let's begin with number one. Number one on this list is Filipino time. So without getting much into it, alam naman na natin to sa mga Filipino. Pero bakit nga ba laging late yung mga Pinoy? Is it because of the traffic? Eh pero bakit pag may lakad yung barkada? Yung pinakamalapit pa sa meeting spot, yung pinakalate dumadating. I was once the person na lagi ding late. Bakit? Kasi wala akong nakikita ang consequence doon pag, sa pagiging late ko eh. And alam mo din naman na malilate yung mga tropa mo. So nakakainis pag yung pinakaunang dumating. Kasi ang tagal mo silang aantayin. This just changed once I got into the professional field. So syempre, as a salesperson, hindi mo pwedeng pagantayin yung client mo. Kasi it will leave them a bad impression about you. And pagka nangyari yun, yung chances mo of closing a sale will always get lower. Dahil doon, na-adapt ko na din siya into my regular lifestyle. And kung iisipin mo na paka disrespectful magpaantay ng tao para lang sa iyo cause uh, time is the most valuable asset na meron tayo mga tao and if iisipin mo imbis na nagaantay siya yung tao he could have done something na productive or do something na masaya imbis na nagaantay siya para sa iyo don't feel too entitled best the value of being punctual goes a very long way number one, people will treat you more with respect Number two, you have more time to prepare. And number three, people will find you dependable. Yung pagiging late is a bad trait that is ingrained into our culture. And hindi siya maganda. And we should not encourage each other to be late. Instead, we should try to change this f***ed up culture. Number two on this list is lack of discipline. So what are the examples of this? Jaywalking, pagsingin sa LRT, counterflow sa daan, smoking in public places, beating the red light. Meeting the speed limit, unloading of passengers anywhere, pagkitap pa ng basura kahit saan, you name it. Look, I know it feels good pag naklasut ka, but we need to reflect on our actions as a country, as a community, and hindi pa din lagi tayong dumidiskarte para maging convenient yung dadana natin because unconsciously we are bringing other people down. For people who smoke in public places, na risking health ng ibang tao due to secondhand smoking. For people na mga nagtatapan ng basura sa daan, uh, you are the cause kung bakit nagbabaring impernal. For the people na nag-jayjaywalk, you're risking your life as well as yung safety ng mga drivers natin. For the people na nagka-counterflow sa daan, minsan naharangan nyo yung mga ambulansya na nagmamadali. General rule of thumb, just obey the law. And lahat naman tayo nasa sakripisyo. So I think lahat naman tayo will benefit from it. And another is, uh, spread awareness and educate people na mali yung ginagawa nila kasi most of the time, hindi sila aware na mali pala yung ginagawa nila kasi nga, it's deeply rooted in our culture na maging pasaway so please, let us be the change so number 3 on this list is crab mentality so ito yung ugaling Pilipino na nagihilahan pa baba na parang mga alimango sa planggana na gustong kumula ano? But it's a bad trait, obviously. This is just my personal opinion, and this is not verified. But yung thesis ko about this, kung bakit yan to yung mindset natin is, when you look at the school system, and when you look at the corporate system, there are only few people para sa taas. In the school system, there's only one valedictorian, and salutatorian, and so on, and so on. And for the uh, corporate world, there's only one CEO, CFO, COO, and so on, and so on. Pag titina mo siya, kaunti lang yung taong pwedeng umangat dun sa ladder na yun. And para naman dito, I think we should reframe on how we should think. Kasi in reality, in real life, wala namang limit dun sa mga people that could be successful eh. Parang everyone nga could be successful eh. But yun nga, since we are so used to this kind of system, parang napapaisip tayo na there's only few people for the top. But in reality, in real life, lahat tayo could be successful. So, yun. I also made parang a similar video with regards to this. Uh, parang yun yung comparison is the thief of joy or comparison is the thief of happiness. I'll put a link sa baba and sa show notes. So, you might want to check that out. Number four on this list is parents seeing their children as trust fund. So, here in the Philippines, meron tayo tinatawag ng mga sandwich generation. So, these are the people in their 30s and 40s. So, bakit ba sila tinatawag na sandwich generation? It's because they provide for their parents and at the same time, they also provide financially for their kids. I know it is a kind and noble act to be generous, but in reality, it hinders your personal growth. 
Kasi instead of you uh, having excess disposable income na pwede mong i-invest for your future, uh, na pwede mong i-try to make a business or i-invest sa sarili mo for relaxation, you are burning your money into a vicious cycle na pwede mag punta ulit sa spot where your parents are. People should be more aware about financial literacy kasi isang topic doon is yung retirement planning and if you plan ahead and nakapag-prepare ka talaga, you won't need to depend on your kids' financial health pagka matanda ka na. Number five, last but not the least, uh, is considering mental illness as kaartehan. Personally, I don't think na iniisip ng Pilipino na kaartehan yung mental illness. What they are is they are just not aware. So I think there are two reasons kung bakit ganun. Number one is we are bad at communicating. So, uh, ang dami nating mga topics na hindi natin, hindi tayo open pag-usapan. So I think isa yun sa mga dahilan kung ba't uh, we are not aware kung ano ba talaga yung mental health problems. Number two is Philippines is a developing country. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, ang ibig sabihin lang nun is majority of our problem is in the physiological level. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Sa ating kukunin yung pagkain natin, is there a clean water to drink? Is there a place to sleep? Do we have a good excretion system? So, without us solving yung mga bagay na yun, it's harder to spread awareness about mental health. I'm not an expert with regards to mental health, but how I understand it is we need to have more empathy to people who are mentally ill and we need to parang learn how to listen and be present for them. Instead of being mad dun sa mga tao who is not aware about mental health, instead, uh, just spread awareness. Kasi malamang sa malamang, that person that you want to be mad at is also going through something na iba lang. It's just a different variation of a life problem. Look, if you really think about it, the world has enough hate already and we need to spread more love. Before I end this video, let me answer yung question that I passed on last week. How can an engineering graduate student slash entrepreneur make a shift in the perspective of other Filipinos towards a better society with regards to financial management and life in general? I'd like to answer na lang this question in a more general uh, matter like, how could you influence anyone positively? So sa akin, yung parang sagot ko dun is start with yourself. Parang uh, set as a good example. If you're doing something wrong, change it. And parang gawin mong tama yun. And yun, it's already enough. Hindi mo kailangan i-force yung ibang tao na gumagawang mali into gawin yung tama. Just just stick with yourself. And pagka nagawa mo yun, it's already good enough. Parang sa win na. Just like dun sa mga pinagsasabi ko ng mga toxic Filipino culture, pagka meron ka pa rin dun ginagawa, just change it. Parang start with yourself. Uh, huwag mo nang gawin. Itama mo yung mga mali mo. So, yun. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursdays and Saturdays. So, yun. Hope you have a great day. Peace. Bye.